Hey, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. How y'all doing today? Today I'm working on a toilet and this one was running and it's not actually the fill valve. The fill valve is good. It seems to be holding at the appropriate level. But what happened was this is the old flapper. You can see it's a little bit worn. Let's say this flapper is probably at least a couple years old. There's a little bit of a wear line in it. See the wear line around it. And it was just sort of leaking a little bit. And so you can see right here, it seems like the rubber is almost sort of falling apart now. Trickling water, they chlorinate the water, chloride, chlorine, ammonia, whatever they do to the water to make you all healthy. Uh, it deteriorates some of the toilet parts and actually may deteriorate some of your arteries. And uh, But anyway, back to the subject. This is a special size flapper. It's a little bit longer here than the standard size. So I had to make sure and match it up when I took it off. So we got the proper size for that. And so this particular longer size is a 437 four nine ace and so that's your tip for today if you need any help you can contact me at appliance at yahoo.com thanks for watching so here we're looking at another one okay, so this one doesn't seem to have much pressure coming out of that valve right there so what I did, first thing I did was take this off and make sure we got pressure coming out of here. We got a good water flow coming out of here. We had plenty of water coming out of there. So I'm just going to replace the valve and uh, hopefully that'll do it. This one is kind of tricky. It's got this yellow button here. It helps to uh, move the float level up and down. It took me a little while to figure that out because it wasn't too user friendly but I finally got it to adjust anyway um, yeah let's, uh, let's get to this and see if we can make this uh, have a little better water flow okay out with the old and in with the new so this one has quite a quite a bit of flow to it let's see turn it on and shut I mean, the, uh, the first one was just dribbling. And uh, so this one, this one should be good. The washer got stuck in here. And so when I first put this on, there was no washer. And uh, this was on so tight that it was stuffed in here. So I had to put it back, take it out of here, and then put it back into there. So that's your toilet tip for today, and uh, once again, if you need any help, you can contact me, and or if this video helped you, please send me a donation. Bill's Enterprises, PO Box 7021, Eureka, California, 95502.